everyone, welcome back to Alicia Neverlands. Today we are back at the Wild Waves water park and theme park and we are going to go have a great summer day. So come with us on this adventure. Here we go. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay updated on all my future fun videos that I post. I look forward to sharing so many adventures with you soon. So we got here right at park opening which is 11 a.m. and it's 85 degrees already so we went straight for the wave pool. Luckily there is not a whole bunch of people here yet so I will be showing you later what it looks like later on in the day so you can compare but let's go have a great day. Next up, we are gonna go on the wild thing, which is my personal favorite roller coaster for here in this theme park. So let's go and I have a POV of it. So I was all ready to film Timberhawk Ride of Prey for you guys and then they told me no GoPros can be filmed on this ride so unfortunately no footage of this ride but it's my second favorite roller coaster out of the two. Here's a view from the upper level where the Ride of Prey roller coaster is and it looks down at the water park. I love it when theme parks have water in them and this one has those crazy fish. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you check out my first Wild Waves video. Look at all this room. They literally are doing nothing. I feel like this theme park has so much potential, but they just kind of like, I don't know, just don't put much effort into it, I guess. I don't know. What do you guys think? They have some games here. But after doing the two roller coasters, we're basically done with the theme park, so we're gonna head to the water park and go have some water fun. Now here is what the wave pool looks like at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So now that it's 95 degrees, everybody wants to be at the water park. 
back open again this season is the zip line, which is an extra $5 per rider. Unfortunately, this park is so slow and lines take forever and I literally don't even understand why. We honestly had the most fun in this area just because we were able to access the water without having to wait over an hour just to go on something that lasted two minutes. fun time with friends but I don't know how many times we're gonna come back to this theme park just because we don't always have the best time waiting in long lines all day just for mediocre rides so but overall we still had so much fun and I'm so glad I got to take you guys along with me let me know what you guys think about this theme park and if you guys would like to make a stop here one day but until next time Neverlanders stay magical and here we go